A spectrum analyzer is an important instrument for monitoring and analyzing signals. To better understand the display of a spectrum analyzer, three essential points must be learned. 1. A spectrum analyzer displays the amplitude of the signal versus frequency. 2. A spectrum analyzer uses a logarithmic scale for the plot. And 3. A spectrum analyzer's vertical scale is a ratio, therefore a reference level is required for the signal analysis. Effective operation of a spectrum analyzer requires a thorough understanding of these aspects. The intent of this tutorial is to briefly describe the logarithmic scale, illustrate the various vertical settings of a spectrum analyzer, and explain the importance of a reference level. We also review the significance of examining signals using a spectrum analyzer and an oscilloscope. First we need to review the basics of a logarithm scale. A proficiency of the logarithmic scale helps understanding the frequency spectrum plot. dB the basic logarithmic unit, stands for decibel, with deci corresponding to a one-tenth and bell referring to the unit of power named after Alexander Graham Bell. One decibel is equal to a one-tenth of a bell. A change by 1 dB is about the smallest difference in sound level that the human ear can detect. dB is a base 10 log ratio of the power of two signals. Smaller levels of various components of a composite signal have a greater presence in a log scale than in a linear scale. For example in a linear scale of 1 million, 1 is insignificant, comparably its equivalent value of minus 60 dB in a logarithmic scale stands out. A multiplication step on a linear scale becomes an addition on a logarithmic scale, making the math easier. For this reason various logarithmic scales are widely used in signal analysis and various engineering and scientific work. When the spectrum of a signal is displayed, the smaller signal components such as signal impurities and noise, become noticeable. As the amplitude of a signal like the sine wave is reduced, the linear representation of the signal shown on an oscilloscope becomes a poor choice, compared to its logarithmic representation given by a spectrum analyzer. When the oscilloscope displays one-eighth of the signal's original peak, the spectrum analyzer shows a clearly distinguishable signal. As the amplitude of the signal is reduced, eventually, the oscilloscope is unable to show the true nature of the signal while the spectrum analyzer displays it clearly. To present this point differently, let's mix two different signals. We keep the amplitude of the 14 MHz signal constant, and reduce the amplitude of the 7 MHz signal. Notice that when the effect of the signal disappears from the oscilloscope, its spectral pulse height is about half of that of the main signal. We now explore the logarithmic scaling. The power ratio dB, is a unit less relative quantity. In any spectrum signal analysis, relative units are used. Amplitude readings are log 10 based and referenced to a specific measurement level. Depending on the reference type and its level, the values are expressed in dB followed by a corresponding suffix. A logarithmic unit often originated for a specific application. A common unit is dBV. It specifies the log ratio of a signal's amplitude to a 1 volt RMS value corresponding to a 2.8 volts peak-to-peak -peak sine wave. For example a 20 dBV level, corresponds to a signal having an RMS voltage value of 10 volts. Another generally used unit, dBm, is a logarithmic unit of power measured with respect to a 1 milliwatt reference level. Two commonly used units of power in dBs are dBm50 and dBm600. These units are used in RF and audio engineering. The 50 stands for the impedance of a 50 ohms coax cable and the 600 indicates the impedance of common telephone cables. Note that changing the vertical units of a spectrum analyzer has no effects on the display. Choosing between dBV, dBU, dBUV, dBUW, volts RMS, dBm50 or dBm600 is only a matter of the particular application in which the spectrum analyzer is being used. The reference level is another important parameter of a spectrum plot. The spectrum analyzer signal measurements are referenced to a horizontal level at the top of the screen referred to as the reference level. The frequency components of a signal are measured to this reference. 
A 3 dBV reference level means that the full scale of the spectrum analyzer is set at 1.4 volts RMS or about 4 volts peak to peak. Similarly a minus 5 dBV reference level indicates a 1.6 volts range. We can verify these values with the oscilloscope. The reference level should be set for the highest dynamic range for the signal under test. If we set it too high, we lose some of the dynamic range, making it harder to detect smaller components of the signal. And if we set it too low, we lose some of the signal as it clips out of the range of the spectrum analyzer. To further explore the topics covered here, let's compare the data from an oscilloscope to that of a spectrum analyzer. Inspecting the spectrum plots of two sine waves, we find the peak amplitude of their spectrums at 4.29 dBV and minus 5.56 dBV. We can use an online calculator to convert these values. 4.29 dBV corresponds to 4.63 volts peak to peak, and minus 5.56 dBV to 1.49 volts peak to peak. Let's compare these values to those displayed on the oscilloscope. It displays 4.61 volts peak to peak for the channel 1 signal and 1.52 volts for the channel 2 signal. Let's reverse the test and examine a signal on the oscilloscope. Note that the oscilloscope displays a sine wave with a peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of 12 volts, or a 4.24 volts RMS. Checking the online calculator once again, we find it to correspond to a power of 25.56 dBm for an impedance of 50 ohms. The value of 25.54 for dBm50, displayed on the spectrum analyzer, in fact compares to the signal on the oscilloscope. If you are still puzzled with the concepts discussed here, keep in mind that spectrum analysis can appear complicated at first. However will and practice makes it trivial after a while. And remember three basic differences between a spectrum analyzer and an oscilloscope, a spectral plot is in the frequency domain and not in the time domain, Recall that an oscilloscope displays the magnitude of a signal versus time. It displays the signal's power on a logarithmic scale and not a linear scale like that of an oscilloscope. And the signal is displayed with respect to a chosen reference level on the top of the screen, while oscilloscopes plot signals with respect to the zero level normally set in the middle of the screen. We are covering more topics regarding the spectral analysis of signals in other tutorials. We appreciate your suggestions and input.